Hello, my name is Kavya and this is my short um, lesson and what I'll be teaching today is BIDMAS or how some people may call BODMAS. So the reason BIDMAS or BODMAS is important is because in an equation you may get more than one sort of operation and it's important to know which operation you have to do first to get the correct answer. So usually in my lessons what I do is I just introduce the subject that we'll be talking about and then um, I'll explain it and then I'll give them some, some examples and then some questions to do on their own. And what I also like to do is ask if they've studied this already at school because there might be specific aspect of the topic that I'm teaching that they might find harder or they're struggling at school. So I want to be able to give that extra support. So let me give you a quick example. So if you look at my mouse over here, it says 2 plus 3 times 5. Now, a lot of people make this mistake, and it's so easy to make this mistake, okay? A lot of people, what they would do is 2 plus 3, which is 5, and then 5 times 5 to get 25. So a lot of people would think 25 is the correct answer, but actually it's wrong, okay? That is not the right answer, and that's according to bid mass, okay? BIDMAS, what it is, it's an acronym for lots of different operations and the order of the letters determine what comes first. So I'm just going to explain it a little bit more later on, but for this example, I'm just going to say, according to BIDMAS, we actually do 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 2, which is 17. So can you see how we had one equation, but two different answers, but 17 is the correct answer according to bid mass. So it's really important that we understand and we know the importance of bid mass. So what bid mass stands for, I've written on the left side here, it is brackets, indices or order. So that's why some people may use the O. Um, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction, okay? So this means brackets always comes before indices, okay? So even if the bracket is on the right hand side of the equation, we always prioritize brackets first, okay? And then we have indices. So just in case you guys have forgotten what indices is, is just to the power of. So for example, if I have two to the power of two, that means what I do is two times two, like this. Sorry, my handwriting's a bit awful. Just getting used to it, which is four, okay? So the number here is how many times you rewrite this big number here. So for example, if it was two to the power of three, and at this point I'll ask my student what would we write here, um, but I would say it's two times two times two, which is eight. Okay, so that means we write this big number this many times. So big number is two, we write it three times. So one, two, and three. So two times two is four, and four times two is eight. So that's what indices are, just a little um, recap. And then we have division. And just remember, division, you can have two different types of um, signs. So we can have this diagonal line here, which is kind of like a fraction. And we can also have this um, line with a dot at the top and the bottom okay so it's important we recognize the operations in different forms as well and then we have multiplication so for example here's a little multiplication sign here we have addition and subtraction which I'm sure you know so what this actually means is that brackets always comes before indices and indices come before all of these as well okay something that to make note of is that division and multiplication they kind of have the same sort of authority okay just because in bid mass the d comes before the m it doesn't mean we have to do the d before the m okay so if i give an example if i said um two times three divided by six now, according to bid mass or bod mass, the D comes before the M, right? But here, 
it doesn't matter because the multiplication and division sign they have equal priority that means you can actually do the times before the divide it will give the same answer so 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 divided by 6 is 1 okay so that's the correct answer same um, applies to addition and subtraction okay so if you have a question with addition and subtraction it doesn't matter what order you do it in but if it has a division or multiplication, of course, that goes before, okay? So these two are collectively are come before addition and subtraction, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some examples, okay? So the first question here that we have is 8 take away 5 times 3 equals. Now, so the two operations we have is a subtraction sign and we have a multiplication sign. So what we do first is look at the bid mass. Look at what each letter stands for. Look at our operations. So we have times and minus. So there's times and there's minus. So you can see multiplication comes before subtraction. So we actually have to do this part first, okay? So I'm just going to rewrite this question again with, and I'm going to do this part first. So I'm going to do 8 take away and 5 times 3 equals 15. So I'm just writing 15. So we have to now do 8 take away 15 and then write down the answer to that. So this is going to be a negative number. Um, it's going to be negative 7, I believe. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the next question. We have 9 take away 4 plus 11 over 2. Okay, so now we have three different operations. Okay, so we have... Oh, four, sorry, four even. We have brackets, we have a minus sign, we have a plus sign, and we have a divide sign, okay? The fact that this minus sign is inside the brackets, we don't really have to pay attention too much, okay? We don't have to look at the bid mass here because it's within the bracket. So according to bid mass, brackets always come first. So what we have to do is this bit first. So 9 take away 4 equals 5. And then what we do is look at the other operation. So we have a plus sign and we have a divide sign. So here's division and here's addition. So you can see division comes before addition. So we have to do the division next, okay? So 11 divided by two is 5.5. Okay, so I've got the two answers here and we have a plus here. So now I bring down the plus. So as you can see, I'm doing the addition last, okay? Because brackets and division come before addition. So now we have to do 5 plus 5.5, which is 10.5. Okay, and if you guys, if you have any, um, if you're struggling with adding decimals as well, you can always do the um, column method and then add in the decimal point or you can just use your fingers. Okay, so this is basically the two examples and then what I usually do is I'll give them some examples here and then um, I'll look at what their answers are and if they get anything wrong, I'll do the working out for them and then I ask them to explain to me um, what part of the method that they got wrong because then when I give them the homework, I can target those specific areas as well. So for homework, I would give more questions like this um, and maybe potentially some in word problems as well, just to consolidate all the learning as well. And um, since this is more of a tutoring um, environment and not like in school, I always give my students the freedom to ask questions whenever, um, because sometimes at school, they may not be able to ask questions till the end and by then they might forget stuff. So here they're always a, um, have the freedom to ask questions whenever. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that.